Hi, my name is Monta from Photo Booth 101. I'm here to show you how to create a welcome screen for Luma Booth. The welcome screen is the first thing your guests are going to see. So whether it's a wedding, a birthday party, it just makes the experience more fun and customized. Um, so the first thing you need to know is the size of your iPad screen dimension. So we have the 12.9 um, iPad Pro and let's just Google it, right? So what size is my iPad 12.9 screen size in pixels? So right here we have it for the iPad 12.9 it's 1024 pixels by 1366. So that's what you're gonna insert into your Canva dimensions when you create a new, um, so when you create a design, you say custom size and you're gonna put the dimensions that it says. So 1024 by 1366. So I already have one up. So we just have to know next what the you know, what the party is. Is it a birthday party, wedding, what's the theme? Normally you would already have made a template for this. Um, I would start off by making that first, getting it approved, and then going based off there. Uh, so I love looking at Canva's templates because they're already really good. Um, so let's see, let's do this. Uh, Almost no, let's do a fairy birthday party. Fairy birthday. And Canva already has a lot of cute designs that you can already use. Um, but you can also, all the designs that Canva has, they have the little elements for it, so you don't have to. So right here, I'm going to use this one. And obviously you don't need all this and depending on the size, on the color scheme of the um, template, you'll, you'll just have to use that. So what we like to do is um, add press experience to start booth, right? So it has something they can they can refer to when someone's walking up to the booth. Um, and then you kind of leave it a little bit higher than you would because the experiences are on the bottom of the screen. Um, so I'm gonna remove these little fairies and then I'm gonna make this a little bit more bolder. So I'm gonna add the, an outline to it and yeah, I mean, depending on the color, I would say, I mean, for this one, the purple is really nice. Um, so I'm going to leave it like this. And the next thing you do is you just download it. So I'm going to download it here, PNG, and I'm going to leave the size it, like, it already has when you download on Canva. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do that. Once I finish here, I'm gonna go to my iPad, the one I'm gonna use for my event, and I'm gonna airdrop it to me. So you can airdrop it, you can email it, you can whatever you want to do. You can make the design on your iPad and save it. Um, but this is just the way we like to do it. Oh, shoot. Here, let me... Um, All right, so I got it here. I accept it. It's going to bring me to the page and I am going to save it to files. And I'm gonna save it on my iPad just cause that's the easiest way we know how to get it when we're on Luma Booth. Um, all right. So once we're here, let's, I'm gonna create a new event. I'm gonna put fairy test and I'm gonna customize the settings. As you can see right here, it's just a plain, plain, 
a color blue, green, white, and it has Kate and Jack's wedding. I'm going to delete all this. Delete the wording because we're, we're making it customized on Canva so you don't need it. And then from here, you're going to go to background and then you're going to select on the background, not theme nor font. You're going to select the design you made. Okay. And there you go. And then you can change. What we like to do is change the colors of the buttons and kind of match to the theme. So I'm going to do like a pink, pinkish, reddish. And there you go. And then when you start your event. All right, so here it is, your customized welcome screen. This is the first thing the guests are going to see. Um, if you do want to use Luma Booth as your preferred software for your photo booth business, um, make sure to click the link below for a discount code. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video.